Let's go into our next movie news topic, my movie peeps. Now getting into the real juicy things. Let's talk about that Teen Titans thing. So right before I went live, uh, we had a big old announcement get made. I think this announcement got made because, um, let me see. Uh, this got made because there are some set photos for Superman, uh, for Superman that got leaked. And James Gunn wants to distract you from those leaks, but we're still going to look at them in a sec. And well, it got revealed. Let me see if I can pull it up right here. A live-action Teen Titans movie is in the works. Uh, Anna Nagiria, who will be writing the script. Now, she's the one, this, uh, this lovely lady here, she also wrote the script for Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, which is a movie that's going to be next on the DCU studio. I think right now it's like Superman, then uh, Peacemaker Season 2, then Supergirl, it looks like, and now maybe the Teen Titans movie is next. Dude, finally a live-action Teen Titans movie. You know how long I've been waiting for this? James Gunn, I wanted this a long time ago, buddy. Why are you only doing this now? Probably because you just got hired, buddy. But, dude, like, okay, I know we had the live-action Titans show. And uh, I will admit, I didn't see it. Uh, it never piqued my interest. I remember when it was first coming out, the, the first thing I saw about it was, like, freaking Dick Grayson saying, f batman and i was like mm, they're going the dark and edgy route i'll pass but uh, i've heard a lot of people say they like it they enjoy it they think it's nice uh not a big fan of the nightwing suit but still like i hear some people say good things about it and uh that's great and all but i've always wanted a live action movie i think a live action movie would be so cool now we just gotta wait and see how they get this done what they decide to do because for one, you you obviously have to have Nick Gra uh, Dick Grayson in there, right? And he's got to be the leader of the Teen Titans. Uh, let me see here. Because uh, Batman Brave and the Bold is about to have uh, Damian Wayne, right? And Damian Wayne has been... I don't want to say... Yeah, he's been part of the new Teen Titans recently... I don't know if they'll already throw Damian Wayne onto the team. I feel like they have to introduce him first in the Batman movie, and then he could be in the Teen Titans movie if they make, like, a second one. But this would be a great way to have Dick Grayson introduced into the DCU. I would want him to be the leader, the one managing the team, and then through that managing and his leadership and what he does with the team, we could get a real insight to his backstory and what it was like growing up with Batman. Because that is one thing I'm sad about, although I'm happy Damian Wayne is coming into the DCU, and that Dick Grayson is most likely Nightwing by now, I still I still would love a movie or some sort of arc where I see Dick go from his origin to Nightwing. I want to see that play out someday in movie form. Uh, but we're going to have to skip all that. So this movie could, you know, go through what it was like him learning from Batman and taking those teachings and putting them into a team. Other thing we got to talk about is, what is this roster going to look like? I think there's only 100% one person we can confirm part of this group, and that's Blue Beetle. We have heard James Gunn already confirm, Solo Maridueña, he is the Blue Beetle for his DCU. And unfortunately, since his Blue Beetle movie flopped, we're like, they're not going to make Blue Beetle 2. As much as badly as I want it, and as much as I like that movie, I got to be honest with myself, it didn't do good at the box office, so they're not going to make a second one. But James Gunn said, he's staying in the DCU, we're keeping him. So where is he going to go? Teen Titans, baby. He's definitely a member of the Teen Titans. He's got to be right there. He could, Honestly, I feel like he's going to be the cyborg replacement of the team. Uh, that's one thing I'm also wondering, if they're even going to bust out a cyborg, because... Uh, I like uh, Ray Fisher's uh, Cyborg. Uh, I like his um, <clears throat> his introduction more in the Zack Snyder version than I did the Joss Whedon version. But there's still controversy and sensitivity with uh, Ray Fisher and Cyborg, the character that Warner Brothers probably wants to avoid because of all the things they said. And I don't think that's right. I think Cyborg is cool and he should be part of the team. But I feel like they might have Blue Beetle be the Cyborg replacement since there's kind of like a mechanical... Um, power set to them there's a little similarity there uh beast boy is a must like beast boy is such a cool character yeah see like they're there no way they have titans without cyborg i agree i hope they still put him in there and they do justice to the character because i really like cyborg and especially if they like do his origin a little bit more that'd be so cool beast boy for sure though i think is a must like beast boy is just such a cool character in terms of his power set that green guy being able to turn into any animal and whatnot that's so cool 
other than that dude like starfire maybe uh, uh kid flash wally west raven dude i i posted a video right on tiktok <laughs> talking about this news all the all the comments jen ortega for raven jen ortega for raven <laughs> i don't i don't know if that's gonna happen dude i don't think uh, as as cool as that would be i don't know if jen ortega could, would play raven I, I would i'd see it though i would be cool as a metrion wednesday that would be so fun man all in all dude as long as nightwing and blue beetle are in that team give it to me james gunn oh i even forgot to mention since the the screenwriter for this movie and in euro she wrote supergirl woman of tomorrow is there a chance supergirl then is part of the teen titans i know uh james gunn likes his comic book stuff and likes to be accurate and stuff and i don't know how often supergirl has been part of the teen titans but to me that feels like she'll probably be a member of the teen titans and right there dude the teen titans are overpowered if they got supergirl already there i know some people would rather have superboy but i feel like that could be it right if she already built the character had fun with her there and now they move her over to teen titans she could be bringing supergirl with her uh, i could see james gunn doing that so honestly it's looking like nightwing for sure blue beetle 1000 percent. that's like the only one i could put like a thousand dollars on and then supergirl maybe and then other than that it's just iconic uh teen titans characters because you know i grew up with the uh, cartoon show that's where i knew my titans and uh let's see cartoon network i remember even you guys remember the the the, the video game uh what is it the computer i, sh I guess i should have wrote computer game but i used to yeah this dude the the battle blitz bro i'd be in the computer lab in elementary school going like is the teacher coming oh dude i got come on starfire come on starfire dude that that game was so much fun i used to play that all the time uh but th this was my teen titans right uh this was my teen titans growing up i loved uh kind of like the serious take it also had funny moments there were some cool storylines thrown in there and this is the iconic roster i fall into but you know james gunn is very into his comics so he'll probably go with like the teen titans let's see the classics let's see what they look like oh dude. oh there was an old show like that he'll probably go with a team like this which honestly isn't that different. You still got Cyborg, Raven, Beast Boy, Starfire, Roy Harper. Dude, if they bring in him, dude, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. I would like that Aqua Lad and whatnot. I also saw people bring bring up, no, we want a Young Justice movie. I'm going to be honest with you guys. You can basically say this movie is Young Justice. Like, look at these people and tell me that isn't already the teen titans it's just a different name young justice more serious grounded storyline and whatnot but young justice is almost essentially the teen titans and also newsflash i mean solo maridueña blue beetle he's not a teen he's a he's a college student that's where he is in his blue beetle movie he's probably going to be a college student in this movie i don't even know if they're going to be referred to as teen titans in the movie it could just be titans and the movie's titled teen titans you know I feel like that's what makes sense. Um, but yeah, so anybody wanting the Young, young Justice feel, I feel like you're still going to get that in this movie. It's just not going to be called Young Justice because maybe Teen Titans hold a, holds a bigger name. What's the difference? Exactly. I don't think there is much other than just trying to name it different. You see, yeah, maybe James Gunn merges Teen Titans with Young Justice. That's what I definitely think. Uh, oh, to say, there's an old show. No, that's just Teen Titans Go, just parenting Cartoon Network's the 60s in one of the episodes. That's awesome. That's the other thing I was going to mention. So although I grew up with that, there is Teen Titans Go that the younger generation is, uh, is growing up with right now. Uh, let me see if I get it. And I remember when this came out, my generation was like, dude, they baby fight it. This is for losers. This is for the brain rock kids watching Caillou and all that. They screwed it up. There was a couple of times I've seen clips from this show, the movie, and all that, and I'm like, it's not my Teen Titans, but it's still a pretty fun Teen Titans show that's really funny, and they have done some really hardcore, like, Easter egg, deep dive stuff, where I'm like, they, they created new fans. It's actually, you see, like, I hate Teen Titans Go, some people say. Honestly, dude, do not knock it till you try it. I haven't watched the whole show, but the clips and episodes I have seen that have come up, it's it's honestly not that bad it's more it's more jokey and humorish but you would be so surprised the amount of like easter eggs and comic book stuff they throw in there where you're like 
oh, what the heck? It's much more like a parody. It's much more of a parody, but see, see, see I love it. It's good. I love Teen Titans. It's funny. It's only good for a laugh. Yeah, I mean, if you're someone who craves the Young Justice or the old Teen Titans form of storytelling, like that one episode where like Robin is like losing his mind and he can only see Slade, Teen Titans, Slade. Uh, that that was like a crazy story arc. Yeah, I, I much prefer, prefer this, but I mean, yeah, the other, the other stuff wasn't so bad. The other stuff wasn't so bad. So overall, dude, James Gunn, you're cooking. You're doing good. I cannot wait. I hope this is good. I just don't... I wish I wish he would put out the timeline. You know what I mean? I want to know what to expect and when to expect it. Because right now, we know Superman's first. That was sometime Creature Commandos. Then they're going to do Peacemaker Season 2 that are about to film in like a couple of months. And then from there, it's like, what's next? Is it Supergirl? Is it this? Is it Brave and the Bold? Is it come? Is Brave and the Bold before or after Matt Reeves is the Batman? I wish there was some sort of timeline I could follow so I know when to expect it. Because for all we know, this movie could be seven, eight years down the line. And if that's the case, dude, uh, Solo Maridueña Blue Beetle is going to be much older than a college student. And a lot of the people they'll cast as these, these iconic characters, they could be freaking 14 right now, you know? So... We'll see. It, it feels like a jumbled mess. I agree. But I, until I see a couple of movies into the DCU, I still don't know. Yes, we got the roadmap. That is true. Uh, but I'm saying we don't know when those projects are coming out in the roadmap. Like he talked about Booster Gold, the Green Lantern series. But it's like no timeline of when we'll get that. Just because he gave us an order of a show doesn't mean that's the release order of that stuff. We could get the Green Lantern show next year and then the Booster Gold show three years from now. Like, we just don't know. But I don't know. Either way, uh, I'm curious. I, I, I want to see this. I, th I think it's awesome. I got excited. I can't wait to find out who the roster is and whatnot. And knowing James Gunn, it's going to be like a couple of, of members we've never even expected or heard of. Which, I guess, speaking of which, let's jump into the Superman uh, set photo. So, uh, 